I'm Will Thomas, a member of the programming team here at Roscoe Police Academy. Today I'll be working in conjunction with two of our programmers, Caleb Ward and Austin Wilson, as we explain our code for the best robotics Blade Runner team. Austin, what challenges does Blade Runner present to the programming team in the area of transporting large, heavy loads? We implemented a multiple speed transmission for our robot. But instead of just using a four and five speed transmission like you see in everyday cars and trucks, we implemented a 16 speed transmission. As you can see here, we have two buttons that control the up and down shift of our transmission. This block houses the code for our 16 speed transmission. And here are our individual accelerators. As we progress, these two are multiplied by each other, sent to the game block and to our players. Caleb, how did the programming team address the need to lift heavy turbine components? The design team opted for a winch to lift the heavy turbine components. The programming team provided dual speeds along with infinite control by the stick. You can see here we have the button to control the dual speed. We also have an analog stick. These are multiplied through a product block and sent to the motor. Thank you. Austin, sometimes we need to tow some components with wheels behind us. Has Cloudtech provided for that need? Yes, we have. One of the major components that we have on our robot to compensate for very large heavy loads is our hitch. Our hitch is controlled by a servo, and one of the main blocks of code is the latch. This latch function block allows us to keep our hitch closed during the transportation of these large loads. Caleb, the design team expressed the need for flexibility of movement in the construction and erection of the turbines. Explain to us the coating of the wrist and how it works to improve that movement. You can see here we have our dual buttons held in place by a latch block. These buttons are set as values with our math lab function block and sent to a product block to determine input two. We also have inputs one and three as our speeds. You can see here we have our subsystem with input one, two, and three. These are sent to a switch block to determine if the condition is satisfied by input two, which will determine the rotation of the motor. Austin, the final stages of assembly require precise movement. What is Cloudtech using to help accomplish this task? Um, one of the things we have is dual servos in our interfector, which allow for a stronger grip. We also have independent variable speed wheels. We have dual range variable speed winch control, and we have a two speed variable touch control in our grid. We'd like to thank you for taking a look at this year's Cloudtech code. But before we conclude our presentation, we'd like to give a special thanks to MATLAB Design.